Hi, I'm Philip Snelloon, co-founder of Codio, the platform for teaching computer programming in schools and universities. We're all about supporting teachers, lecturers and students embracing computer science and the new computer programming curriculum. In this video series, we'll be talking to teachers, industry professionals, experts in the field of computer science and coding, bringing you expert insight into the ways in which you can teach computer programming in your own school or university. In this first video, we're talking to Shanila Saeed. So I'm Shanila Saeed. I've been a qualified teacher for over 15 years. I served 12 of those as head of computing uh, in an inner London secondary school. I now lead the Digital Schoolhouse Project, which is a Mayor of London and DfE backed initiative to work with secondaries and primary schools across London to inspire and engage and raise achievement in computing. 60% of tomorrow's jobs haven't been created yet. Um, they will inevitably use some form of technology and it's about preparing pupils for that future. We're not saying that all current pupils are going to become computer scientists. We're just recognising that tomorrow's world is different and we have to prepare them. The best way to engage pupils with computer science and programming is to make it fun. Be innovative, be creative, make it relevant to what they are doing outside the classroom, connect it with what they see in the world. So, you know, even the toys that their parents will buy from leading toy stores um, often contain an embedded computer chip inside it where you've got moving robots and all sorts of things. They don't see those as computers, they don't recognise those as computers. Helping, that helping them make that leap and say, well actually this toy that you play with at home, it's, it's a computer and this is how it works. You can see those eureka moments going off. We're using magic tricks to teach programming and algorithms, so the pupils will watch a magic trick, they will try and work out how that trick works and you know, just trying to work out how that trick works and what it's made up of is decomposition. It's a key computational thinking skill. Um, then being given the steps for that trick and asking them to follow it, that's algorithmic thinking. They're following an instruction. Then asking them to maybe rework that trick and modify it and make it their own. You can build in abstraction and generalization and other key computational concepts. You can teach programming through dance. Um, a dance, a choreographed dance sequence is an algorithm. It's about bringing the fun back into the classroom. Um, pupils really like to explore new technology and, and, and play with new things. Play. We, we don't use that word in classrooms too much sometimes and I and I, there's real value in it. Pupils learn through play. The traditional approach has always been demonstrate, explain, the pupils do, you support. Well what if you just remove the demonstration? What if instead of using the word you use task, you use the word challenge instead? And said, here's your challenge today. You have to make this object bounce off the wall and, and just see what the kids come up with. So I, th I think one of the key benefits of um, having a system like Codio is the fact that it runs from a browser. When you want to install something as a teacher, and lots of teachers probably won't share this, you'll, you'll ask them to install something and they'll come back and say, this isn't possible for this reason, or this is going to pose a security risk, or, and, and, and any multitude of reasons that they normally come out with. Well, it runs straight from the browser. There's nothing to install. You're not going to have any difficult conversations with your IT support department. The other benefit is it allows you to take it home. So your pupils are doing something in class and they can continue that at home. They don't have to worry about installing that at home. All those questions suddenly of, is my home computer compatible with what you're doing in school? Well, it's just running from the browser. So all those compatibility questions go out the window. I think the new computing curriculum is going to play a pivotal role in creating homegrown talent. You're beginning to see already in the classroom, you can see people that may not have thought about computing as a career suddenly realising, actually, I can do this. There's a big talk about the gender imbalance between boys and girls. Well, I've seen in the classroom, the girls are coming in and suddenly they're, they're saying, I can programme. I know this, this isn't just a boy thing, I really enjoy this, I can do this. And it's that inspiration for them to take it a step further. And those questions, you're getting more and more of those pupils saying, I want to take this further. Key stage three people saying, I want to do a GCSE in computing, I want to, how can I, how can I become a games developer? Can I, um, can I become the next uh, Google? Can, can I do this? And yes, we can. 
it's not too ambitious. We can definitely do it. I've seen the seats. <laughs> we hope this video will have provided you with some expert insight into the teaching of coding. And for more expert advice, please subscribe to this channel or follow Codio on Twitter or Facebook or visit codio.com. Thanks for watching.